Hi everyone, welcome back to Napoleon Total War. Here we are with the Prussians in late February 1810. Yes, um, France is all but defeated. She's basically confined to Corsica, her fleet and army shattered, her empire humiliated. Uh, we have completed the campaign objectives for the Prussians and we held most of Europe in our grasp, all of France. Um, oh, apart from this region here in Reims, where the, uh, the Danish have a dominion. Uh, but yes, you can see we've conquered most of this. We've even got all the way Vienna and Zagreb, um, part of the what used to be the Austrian Empire, is now part of us. Uh, the only problem we have is the Russians. Now, the Russians continue to be a problem, and we've got a large Russian army under Apollon uh, Zemkoznikilov. Uh, right there. Um, it seems to be a reasonably strong army. The musketeers. Um, we got some grenadiers as well, some lancers, and some six pounder horse artillery. We did send our army under command of Frederick Wilhelm von Bülow uh, around to try and catch up with him. Because um, I think we're marching on Breslau. Where under Breslau, we've only got. Uh, a handful of troops and some militia holding down that city. Uh, we've got some more troops moving in there, some grenadiers and some Jaegers, are they? Yeah, Jaegers as well. Um, but we also have um, August von Gneisenau's army. Now, this is probably looking a little bit on the light side to challenge you. We've got, we've got musketeers, we've got some cavalry, but it's all light cavalry. Um, we've got six, three six-pounders and we've got some infantry skirmishers as well so we could maybe challenge it maybe if we come up to the edge of the bridge we can at least hold the crossing forcing them to Breslau and we can by that time this army should be able to come through the woods and seize them so let's move up a little bit oh okay it's given us an opportunity to intercept okay so here's uh, Apollon he's got Wow, lots of cavalry. All lots of cavalry, though. It's charge bonus and not else going for it. Got some six-pounder horse, six-pounder horse, six-pounder horse. So he outguns us. Oh, it's quite an even battle, isn't it? Um, okay, let's take the opportunity, because we've got a river and a crossing. If we can defend the river and the crossing, we should be uh, in a good space. Let's see how the deployment goes. Okay, so the deployment has not been kind. Um, we don't get a river crossing to defend and there's not even a river um, so maybe it's frozen over that that's maybe what we can explain it's frozen over in winter uh, so here we are uh, we've got cavalry charging in we've got this big lump in the way which is not grand um, so we've got square form there I have not deployed the infantry out uh, for fear let's bring them back here for fear that um, oh, when I said the sort of light infantry out for fear that they're being cut down by the the cavalry uh, which the Russians have in huge numbers so yeah look all this cavalry they got the guns coming in now so yeah I didn't want those guys lost in the woods somewhere and get cut down as they run back to our lines or something. Right, let's get those lined up there, ready to charge out. But first, I'm going to use the guns to try and soft them up. Got squares formed to stop the uh, cavalry having a free hit at us. All of a sudden, we've gone into a defensive pattern. Okay, as it plans out, we are just exchanging fire with the Russians. Um, they've got not a brilliant um, position for their guns either, so it's kind of balancing out at the moment. So it's a bit of a holding game. Just taking pot shots and um, trying to weaken their uh, 
their line. Uh, this unit here is actually attacking this flank where we've got some a gun and some uh, Lancer cavalry by the looks of it and they're doing quite an effective job so far. Right, we've got a cavalry charging, so let's switch to see if we can get them. In the meantime, the squares will do their business. Oh my goodness, that's devastating. Right, not that. That unit has just been wiped out. That's the Russian equivalent of the charge of the Light Brigade, I think, right there. Goodness me. Absolutely blasted to Kingdom Come. Right, you can go back to ball, go back to ball and start pounding the enemy. Okay, if you look over to the horizon, you might be able to see the horses running back to town. That's because the general has been killed. Brilliant. Okay, so there. Well, hopefully there. Horse has been. Who is this? Oh, it's just a wild, loose horse running back. Um, let's get our cavalry and let's let's charge it over there, trying to either get their guns on them or maybe yeah, so they've lost a couple of dudes. Um, engage their cavalry because they're we're all just sitting back at the moment. No one wants to do anything, which is completely understandable. But uh, yeah, we've got to get moving. There you go. We'll move our cavalry out here. Well, that trigger there is right. I'm going to move it behind the hill. So they're still going to be safe. Uh, has, it has dragged out their cavalry. Brilliant. Right. Quickly back here. And hopefully the squares will be able to um, finish them off. No. Yes, they're still coming. Ready, boys. Ready, ready, ready. Nice. Concerned, losing, right. Cavalry, charge them. In fact, one of you stay back. Two of you charge them. Right. Good. In fact, we could charge all the way around here. Maybe go for their guns. Or they're bringing their they're bringing their cavalry around to defend that eventuality. Okay. Right. Let's um bring them back. They're not catching them up. And all they're doing is going to put themselves in a position where they could potentially get hit. They are running away for another day. There goes our cavalry. We're pulling the same trick again. And they're pulling for it again. Perfect. Just two of them left. Two lancers left. Will they? No, one lancer left. Beautiful. Right, that's them done. Now, are their guns... Now, they've still got cavalry, which is, well, pretty much wrecked, but uh, let's bring our cavalry up to this little hill again, and this time I think we will swoop round. Um, there's also another cavalry unit poised to uh, charge down if necessary. Uh, but with the cavalry gone, we can move our skirmishes up here to start sniping. Okay, here goes our cavalry. Charging for the enemy guns. Obviously, they're going to take a bit of a pounding because their troops are going to turn around now and um, have at least one round into us. But we need to knock out these guns. Right. Move. Quickly go. 
before they can uh, square in fully form. There we go. That gun's destroyed. Well, a couple of them are still hanging around, but in the most part, the guns are destroyed and the horses are... Uh, we lost a couple of casualties. There we go. This flank is now undefended from um, the guns. So we just got this gun on, or these two guns on this side now. That seems to have angered the Lancers on the Russian side, and they are charging. Right. These guys are loading carcass shot. Uh, you guys form square. You form square as well. We've got the light, uh, light infantry behind. He will do some sniping rounds, no doubt. Well, that's um, turned them back. Right, brilliant, well done. Switch to ball, continue to harass them. Meanwhile, the Grenadiers have snuck up on our cavalry and um, thrown their grenades and our horses have just got stunned and they haven't attacked. If they don't attack soon, they'll form square. Thankfully, they were able to um, get away. One of our one of the units has kind of panicked and uh, broken, as you would expect. But yeah, the men are fatigued, sir. I know, but continues to hit the uh, the um, the grene uh, grenadiers before they get back to their line. Oh, they're so slow. Oh, they've turned. Brilliant. Okay, the light infantry is doing their thing. Picking them off from a distance. We've got the line forming behind them. And we've got some cannon coming through here. Artillery. And hopefully we'll get the cannon set up there. Meantime, this line is forming, but they're staying slightly behind. There is a bit of a dip there, so when they start charging, we'll move up to the top of the crest, but we'll, we'll stay just behind it for now for a bit of cover. Meantime, Jaegers and Light infantry are doing their thing right the first cannon gun unit is in position almost okay the last of their cavalry has just charged and I think has been defeated no they still got one more lancer unit there okay all right meantime let's get the Jaegers forward and we're gonna start with the light infantry, start picking on the um, the, the flanks of these uh, lines. They would have been pummeled by the cannon. And the Jaegers got him in sight. There we go. Jaeger and the light infantry are attacking that flank on. Uh, we've got some cavalry which is resting back there. Let's get it up there. And our main line of troops, let's get them moved forward. So the um, lane infantry can always duck behind them if required. Right. Got two cavalry forces move forward. And uh, they're going to sweep around and get the guns and the, probably the cavalry units there. Well, we um, look to push our advantage on here. They're all shuffling down. Uh, there we go. March and kill them. These guys are doing a valiant last fight. Stand. But they are finally routing as well. The cavalry to charge them down. One no. of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. And that's fine. Let's try and f get as many... Russians off this field as possible. All right, we got Kenneth. Mop them up, boys. Mop them up. So there we go, victory. August von Nice now. Um, he only lost 353 troops, uh, but managed to squash Apollon's army, uh, killing 1,265 in the process. Remaining 190. 
So they will limp away, even though the general was dead. Brilliant. Um, you go and guard the bridge. And our, our territory is safe. And maybe we will ambush the um, Vlad Fortunov. Maybe not quite so Fortunov as he thinks he is. But, um, yeah. Well, there we go. That's the threat being extinguished for now. Maybe we can just tidy up the... The tail end of it, and we've got another army forming up on the border as well. And Vlad doesn't get too far before he bumps into Frederick Wilhelm von Bülow. Chance to intercept an ambush. Okay, so let the ambush begin. Um, there, we found them near this little farm. There's there, desperately trying to sort themselves out. The cannons are already opening up. Yes, sir. Move the light infantry forward. We've got some cavalry you can move forward here as well. Uh, basically, they got a ragtag unit of. Um, they got Lancer cavalry in there. Oh, I think we just send the cavalry in, do we? Right, we're in danger of hitting our own men, so stand down with the cannon. Ever feel the walls around you are closing in? Well, that's what these guys are feeling right now. So we got Lancer and we got some cannon and a little unit of um, foot. Charging. You boys, double time. Right, now these guys will turn to try and shoot, but they in turn will get shot in the back, so have to turn to engage the line troops. So the cavalry and the guns are on their own. This is going to be a bloody massacre. Right. Charge him in the rear. Short distance, I know, but charge him anyway. Wavering. Broken. Right, finish them off. Stand down, everyone. Stand down. Good shooting. Right, there we go. That is that little battle over. So, in early March 1810, uh, enemy raids. But we've completed the screw propeller technological advance, and they're moving on to iron plating. Nice. Uh, and we've unit recruited a 74-gun ship of the line. Happy days. Now, while well, we have defeated that Russian army, it's not over yet, um, because there's another Russian army has moved into the woods here. So I'm going to um, move you back to Olmutz. And you can hold there. Yeah, he's in here. So he could be marching this way. Um, we've got Augusta von Blulow's army there. And we've got these guys who can come and reinforce him. Uh, reinforce him. Overly reinforce him, in fact. Let's... Uh, okay, those can come out. We'll get the Jaegers in, and we'll get the Grenadiers in. Okay. Those guys can head back to... There. Brilliant. Uh, and there's also, uh, up here, some a Russian token army doing some raids and just causing some nuisance, basically. They're not big enough to take us on, so they're just going to try and attack little pieces along the way. Uh, and I think the same was over here in, in France. Um, where was it? I saw it. It was down here somewhere. There was a raid by a French, uh, a Russian army. It was this one here. Yeah, I think he did. He hit that. He might have hit the intellectual center. Let's get that repaired. Flanders, they're under repair as well. Yeah, so we've got some little spiteful little raids. Oh, maybe it was down here. No, that's under repair already. Yeah, so um, Russia has retaliated in uh, minor issues, but nothing terribly to, uh, um, 
too much to worry about, except the army that's moved into these woods. We just need to be careful and wary of that. Right, knowing there's some Russian troublemakers in here, uh, is there anything yeah, we need to do on. here? He's fairly up to speed. What have we got defending this town and this militia? Okay, joy. Okay, so he really does need to just sort of wait there. The site of a memorable battle, was there? Oh, yes. Um, Moravia. Battle of Olmutz, October 1806. Victory over the um, Austria. I don't remember it, but yeah. Classic, 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 classic. Right, so we've got these Russians up here being a bit of a pain. It's one unit, uh, so maybe we go and flush them out. What do we got? Let's get those guys and let's go and flush them out, shall we? It's um, it's militia. Oh, okay. Let's just uh, auto resolve that. There we go. We lost four, uh, and they're dead. Good. Right. Um, I'm not sure the state. Oh, <laughs> each unit lost one man. Uh, or more. So there we go. Let's get these under repair then. Good. And I think what we should do as an objective is just try and force Russia to um, sue for peace. And I think I think then once the Russia knows that we're not to be trifled with, you know, we can um, we can call it a day. Um, probably got some can we get some troops hired and up here? Yeah, okay, what have we got then? So we've got some light infantry I don't think much at all. Let's just get some foot on the ground. Got guns? No, they could use a gun as well. Six pounder. That one's slightly more accurate. We'll get those uh, started as well. Up here in Konigsberg, again, let's check the army. They've got a couple of guns. They probably need some solid foot troops. Um, they've got one unit of light infantry, so. Let's get some Jaegers and some um, line infantry recruited. Right, okay. And then it's whatever Russia does down here. Got armies moving there. In Lemberg, we've got nothing. <laughs> we got nothing. Let's get some more troops. Um, yeah, let's get some more. We've got plenty of cash, so. Uh, Greater Poland, they've got some troops being recruited as well. Good. Down here, Spain looks to be quite okay. They're not really looking for a fight. Um, France can't trade with us, of course, because they're... Uh... Are they still at war with anyone? Yeah, they are. They're still at war with everyone. Don't know why. Maybe that's why Russia attacked us, because uh, we let France off the hook. I'm not sure. Um, but we've got all we can really out of that. Uh, everyone's pretty friendly or indifferent, but we don't have options to trade. So that's all good and groovy. Denmark's an ally. Hessen and Brittany are, and Oldenburg are um, vassal states. So that's all looking good as well. So yeah, we're um, we're not looking too bad. We've got our fleet off here, just doing some pirating on this trade lane, hitting the Russian pocket, no doubt. Villeneuve is still blockading off, is it Chatham Dock? Chatham Dock, yeah. Goodness me. <laughs> He's going to die of old age before that blockade's lifted. And we've got Russian ships sailing all the way around Britain. Now, I'm guessing that that is probably just two trade ships, otherwise they may go and raid uh, our shipping up there. So that is something to consider, actually. Can we get some more ships? Uh, what's the best we can do? A 38-gun frigate? Mm, okay. Um, what other ports do we have? Ah, we got we got Amsterdam. What port has this got? It's got a commercial port. Uh, trading company port. Ooh, brings in a lot of cash. So that can just make merchant ships. Uh, okay. Um, do we have any other military ports along the way? No, okay, so Khan looks to be our best bet with Le Havre here. So let's get a 38-gun um, frigate made. Uh, we get a couple of frigates and they can patrol up there. In the meantime, can we get that dry dock upgraded as well? Happy days. 
Oh, what did I say? What did I say? That Russian ship turned round. They do have a 38-gun frigate with them. Well, uh, let's see if we can retreat our merchant ship. Ah, they just want the trade points. Meanwhile, we've been approached by Carlos IV of Spain. He's seeking military alliance, uh, and he'll pay 490 for the the benefit. I'm trying to see who is he. So they're at war with Austria, Sicily, Naples, UK, and Russia. So why do they need to come across our territory? Do they want to hit out Austria? Hmm. See, this is the thing, isn't it? Why do they want access to our? Let's, can we? Can we move? No, I can't. I can't have a look at what they want. Hmm. Well, they are a big, powerful nation, so let's keep them on side for the moment. Actually, we've both got... Oh, no, Denmark is allies. Uh, they've got Denmark as a trade partner, so do we. Okay, so it's not Denmark they're after. We'll accept that for now. So, late March, 1810. Um, Equine Estate is being built in Le Mans, France. So, yeah, so, so there's the Spanish forces down here. Do they want to get... Uh, they can... This is there, so they can get to Austria that way. Hmm. I wonder. We'll have to keep an eye on that. I wonder where they're going to... Let's just uh, bolster our forces down here. Uh, let's... Let's, uh, let's get some forces down here, shall we? Small fort. Uh, Court of Appeals. Oh, rubbish. Not much going on here, is there? Then just get some militia. Okay. Let's, um... We've got our... We've got Stig Thompson here. Shadowed by Scharnhorst. Gebhard von Scharnhorst army. Um... We also had another Danish army. Stefan Ove dropped off here and he's marched down here. Who are Denmark at war with? Because um, they're puzzling me at the moment. Now we're at war with France. Okay, that can, I guess, understand why they would want to come down here to maybe have a go at Corsica. And they're very friendly. We've even got an alliance with them. So, have we got any negatives? Yes, territorial expansion. Plus, oh, sorry, it's minus 12, but it's got a plus next to it because it's improving. So, okay, we have to keep an eye on that. Meantime, here is that Russian army. Um, let's have a look. Doesn't look that big actually, which is kind of a bit of a relief to be honest with you. But there was also that I saw the little army round was it Stuttgart or Stras Strasbourg? There they are. There's that other army. Let's get the cavalry down here and get rid of this unit. Ah, oh, it is a cavalry unit as well, Cossacks. Let's um There we go. Kill them. And that has been, um, one problem's been sorted. Then, I guess, we just need to um, get these guys off our land. So, we've got uh, Grigory Ivanovic uh, Lizandvic. Beautifully pronounced. Uh, so he's got two units of Cossacks, he's got six pounders, and some musketeers, okay? Okay, here we are then. Um, thanks, for, we've got a bit of a side so we can open up straight away got our elite foot guard here they look in just the ticket aren't they eh? uh, then we got more cannons more guard and more cannons that way right so expect them to move their cavalry straight out to engage that's okay we've got the angle on them Okay, it looks like the 
Lancers are charging. Um, they seem to get hit and then they just charge. It's like a little Banzai attack. Let's get the uh, light infantry to form square. They've kind of paused on the top of the hill, which is not ideal. Then, oh, two horses just got taken straight out by a cannonball. Here they come. Charging through here. Boom. Uh, carcass shot, sorry. Fire carcass shot. You also shoot the carcass. And I think, there we go, they are destroyed. Meanwhile, we've got another bomb scrap. Thankfully, the light, uh, light infantry and the um, Jaegers were able to see that one off. Right, if that is that cavalry unit destroyed, the guns are unprotected. Let's get our cavalry to march around through the through behind the woods, and then we can attack. In the meantime, uh, let's get these into skirmish mode, and we'll start going through the woods and see if we can start attacking the flank of the line there. Ah, some lancers have returned, and they're trying to engage the... Jaegers in the woods. I should be able to see that off in the woods anyway. Good stuff. They're running. Right, let's um, continue forward and um, engage the, uh, the line there. Right, these um, foot regiment has um, turned to engage the skirmishers in the woods. You should see a ripple of flashing lights in the woods and maybe they get shot down. Maybe not. There they are, they are firing. Meantime, our cavalry is smashing through their gun on their flank as they crumble. Uh, the gun on the left flank is uh, about to come under the attention of our other cavalry unit. So, cavalry is doing a good job. Meantime, this unit is broken from the light infantry pushing through. Right, you can switch to canister shot. Switch to canister shot. Switch to canister shot. Uh, form the line. Glorious victories, huh? As the soon to be yours. line troops come to challenge us. Fire when ready. It's the general. Counts the shot at the general. It's not a very dignified way to do battle, but it's a battle, so we will fight it dirtily if we have to. Well, non-gentlemanly, should I say. Right, I don't think there's anyone of the... One of those... That's the general, then, because he hasn't been killed yet. There's the only one standing. Right, meantime, they're slightly over the rise, so the cannon aren't getting them, but these lines are... Can you get them? Angle so you can get them. Right, this line is stubbornly not moving, so we'll get the cavalry come charge them in the rear. We've got the light infantry and the Jaegers holding them there. And what are you going to do, boys? You've got cavalry charging you. This unit is firing out our other cavalry unit. So let's bring the other two cavalry units in behind them for a taste of their own medicine. So, victory! We lost 145, 78 remain. Oh, and they limp off. Um, tail between their legs. Dmitri Pogorny has uh, got command of them. 
Okay, that'll do for now. Let's guard our border and we let our troops recover. Good, good show, everyone. Good show. He could have come across here, of course, but then we can sweep around with knives now. Um, he could obviously come through there. This bit he can't come through. Maybe the yeah, that's his. Mm, that is our territory there. The border is in the mountains, so keep an eye on that. What is it? It's a supply warehouse. So let's get that upgraded. Uh, help resupply of the, or re rebuilding uh, depleted units quicker. So that's good. And we seem to be pushing them back there. Well, there we go. It's been quite um, battle intensive today. Um, we do need to send. I'm going to send you and the you off um, to see if you can go and patrol up there to keep them safe. Um, yeah. Meantime, we don't know what Spain is up to, nor do we know what Denmark is doing with all these armies. They're marching through our lands. I'm going to give them the benefit of doubt and think it's not ter anything too um, worrisome. But um, yeah, so there we go. Uh, the industrial technology has all been researched. Um, we've got uniform armaments under research. We've got iron plating under research. We've got percussion cap and rockets, plus uh, national propaganda and passports. Uh, Liège doesn't have anything to do. <laughs> they just uh, sit back and charge a fortune to um, educate pupils, I suppose. So technology is on its way. Um, I suppose we can get some. I think we've got everything, haven't we? Or we could build ourselves. Should we build ourselves a memorial? Minus five recruitment to the cost of infantry units in your regions. Nation, a nationwide effect only appears when this building is in your home region. Uh, enhances national prestige. Fifteen grand. Ah, oh, my vanity knows no bounds. Let's build it. What's that? A, f a small star fort. Uh, let's hold off that for the moment. But um, there we go. Ah, happy days. Right, we you can have a court of justice just to keep um, repression down, and then maybe everything's expensive now. Small arms factory. Yeah, let's do that, and then we'll hold there. Good. So Russia seems to have been repelled from Olmitz and. Uh, Celestia for the moment, um, or Celestia for the moment, sent packing. We'll see if they come back. Their little raiding parties have been destroyed here and down near Salzburg as well. Um, so hopefully we've got Russia in the um, in the pocket, so to speak. Let's have a look at Russia. Let's open negotiations, not because I want to speak to them. Um, they're powerful and wealth is spectacular. Okay, so they are a very, very dangerous animals still. They're at war with Spain, Prussia, Oldenburg and France. So well, that's ours, isn't it? Why are they at France? Oh, they must have come in when, as a, as a vassal of ours when um, Russia decided they were going to attack. But okay. We shall see what they're up to. Spain, of course. Oh, we're allies with Spain. Um, which is lovely to see. I didn't realise we were allies, but we are. And that's going really well. We're really friendly with Spain. So then maybe they're not likely to attack us. But who knows what they want. But um, as long as it's not our territory, I'm not too bothered. They maybe want to push down here and uh, capture Rome. <laughs> Who's got Naples? Oh, it's the Kingdom of Naples. Oh, maybe they just want to push through down there and take it, uh, Italy, perhaps. Who knows? We'll maybe find out next time. Thank you so much for watching. We'll leave it there for this time. Um, we'll keep an eye on the Russians. And we'll also keep an eye on the Danish and the Spanish. Yes, Den Denmark and Spain are friends. Um, but sometimes you need to keep an eye on them as well. Um, and fingers crossed we can get Russia to sue for peace. And I think that will conclude our business. And we can close this down as a job well done. But we'll leave it there for now. Thanks so much. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.